In this video, I'll demonstrate how to manage your projects. The main project screen will show you a list of all of your completed projects at the bottom of the list, along with any projects that are in progress. You can filter this view based on project type, status, owner, or priority. To create new type or status options, simply select the drop down and select the manage option at the bottom. Simply enter the same key and display name and select Submit. And now it will be available as an option in your dropdown. To create a new project, click the Create New Project button. The only fields required for creating your project are the project name and the start date. You are also given the option to link your customer to either an organization or a contact, enter an estimated value, allotted hours to be spent on the project, the project type, status, priority, owner, end date, and even give your project a vision statement. Once you have entered the appropriate information, select Submit to create your project. This will take you right into your new project. You are given a series of options at the top of your project detail. The percentage bar shows you how far along the project is towards completion. This percentage is calculated from your project tasks and the percentage of completion of each task. The Project Edit option allows you to edit the information you originally entered when creating the project. The Project Docs link takes you to a folder of all of your project documents. The Email This Project link allows you to send an overview of the project to someone via email. The Notes Summary will give you a list of all of your notes for your project. And the Export to CSV option gives you the ability to export your project to an Excel spreadsheet or CSV file. To create a new task in your project, select the cursor box. Enter the task name and select Enter. You can enter as many tasks as you need to. In the left column, you can give your task a status. You can also prioritize your task and flag it. You can use the flag feature at your own discretion. Green generally means the task is on track, orange means it is taking time, and red means it has been stopped for some reason. Kind of like a stoplight. You can also enter your start date and due date. And this will actually put the task on your home task list with the project symbol in front of it during that time frame. This makes it really easy to see which tasks are associated with the project and which tasks are on their own. To the right of your screen, you'll find three tabs, one for notes, one for your progress, and one for your advanced functions. In the notes area, you can of course enter general notes and attach documents. In the progress area, you can put in a percentage for your total progress, and in the advanced area, you'll see a list of any timesheets that you have, along with an access URL. This URL can be given to anyone so that they can view the project and see where you're at with the completion of your project. These features are also available with each individual task. So in the notes area, you have notes specifically for that task. Your progress bar will be for each individual task. Notice that when you update your progress in each task, it changes the percentage on your total completion of your project. And in the advanced feature for each task, you're able to enter timesheets. Click the Submit Time option to do so. Here you can use the time clock to track your time.
or you can enter the amount of time you spent manually. This will keep a record of all of your timesheets for each task. To browse a list of every timesheet for the project, select Browse All Timesheets. Now that I have created all of my tasks, I want to set some of them as subtasks. To make Find Contractor to Build a subtask of Build and Organize Tool Area, simply click the arrow next to the task. You can create as many levels of subtasks as you need to. The subtasks of any task must be completed before that task can be completed. For example, cabinets and hooks are subtasks of buy supplies. So cabinets and hooks must both be completed before you can mark buy supplies as completed, and so on and so forth. Once your project has been completed, it will show up under the finished projects area. At this point, you can make your project as a template by right-clicking on the project name and selecting Make Template. Now that you've set that project as a template, anytime you create a project, it will be available as a template option to create your project with. This will create the project with all the same tasks and with the due dates related to the project creation date. And that is how you manage your projects.